right, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about why I purchased the Graffiti X. Why did I choose that bike as my next electric bike? So there's several reasons and I'm going to tell you. First of all, I'm familiar with the company. The bike I'm on right now is the Lyric Graffiti, the 2022 original version of the Graffiti. And I like this bike a lot, but it feels incomplete. Like there's, there's just something that's not, it's, it's just not complete. And like, I still, it still leaves me wanting something just a little bit more. And so the Graffiti X offers that little bit more. And maybe then some after that. But uh, so basically, it's the same name, right? Graffiti with that little X factor uh, in there. And that X is, means a lot. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's an upgrade on this one. So let's go over some of that upgrade. So first of all, we're going from a 52 volt that this one is, which there's nothing wrong with 52 volt, but if we can bump that up to 60 volt, then why not, right? So, so we're going from 52 to 60 volt. The motor is going to be a little more powerful. Uh, the motor is going to be a 3000 watt nominal and peak at 7200 watts, whereas this one's a 2500 and peaks at 4700 watts. And again, 52 volts versus 60 volts. You have the controller, which this one has the BAC 855 controller and the new Graffiti X is a bump up to the BAC 2000 controller. And you're gonna be putting 60 volts as opposed to 52 volts. And they had the BAC 855 on here at 50 amp and the BAC 2000 on the Graffiti X is going to be set, uh, going to be 80 amp. And then you move to the battery. Uh, it's going to have one battery, but it's going to be a large battery. Uh, it's a 35 amp or amp hour yeah, battery on the uh, Graffiti X as opposed to this bike. I have two 17 and a half amp hour. So they're coming out to be the same 35 amp hour and of course again we're going from 52 to 60 volt. Also uh, Uh, we're going to a better quality uh, battery. We're going to be uh, on the Samsung twenty one seven hundred, and uh, I personally prefer one large battery myself. I believe over two smaller ones. I'd rather just charge one up than charge two. So that's another, to me, another plus, a better battery and a good sized battery. I mean, yeah, I would like it to be more. I'd like it to be uh, 
50 amp hour but of course the more you get the higher your price is going to be on the bike so and then uh, we move on to how about this full suspension this bike has a, a front but no rear suspension and that's definitely going to be a plus moving along to the tires it's going to have better quality tires they're going to be same size 20 by 4 but they're going to put the v huntsman tires uh, on the the pdx as opposed to this one has the cst big boat tires so uh an improvement there and i don't think there's any way out here i thought there was anyway um so that's a step up and the other thing is having those tires and also having the full suspension um that bike is ready to go for on-road or off-road which this bike is more on-road i mean i have gone off-road a bit and it's it's not great with uh if you don't have a full suspension on the road this bike is fine i don't mind it but uh, if you do any off-roading at all you'll want full suspension for sure so and that graffiti x has that get out here and hit the highway here and then uh, let's see what else can I say the bike has uh, In my opinion, a better look. I like the look of it. Not that this one's bad, but. I certainly trust the name that's the other thing uh, I'm familiar with this bike I know what it can do and I'm comfortable with this bike um, I can't say enough about it so if you move from this one to the graffiti X and it's got better features on it and if it rides anything like this with the better features then wow you know that is to me completing my package uh, that's about as good I think as I could uh, ask for in a, in a wish list for a bike. Um, the only thing is, and like I've said this in a previous video, I'd like to someday try a 72 volt, but I want to give this one a shot though and see, because I think this might just satisfy me for what I need. You know, I don't need necessarily need the 72 volt, but I guess it'd be nice to try it and just see what it's like. But uh, the other thing that that bike has two that I'm gonna enjoy he is a full twist throttle this one uh, has the thumb throttle I got used to it I'm used to it now I don't mind it at all I thought I would have a little more issue with that but I'm okay with it but I do like the uh, the idea of the uh, full twist throttle like a motorcycle and also the bikes gonna have full full uh, uh, lights I believe it's the same headlight as this bike and the headlight you're you're not going to get any better this bike has uh the best headlight like i don't know of any headlight that's going to beat this one so uh and then uh, it'll have tail lights uh tail light as well brake light and turn signals and also something that this bike doesn't have it's going to have a, a horn this bike doesn't have a horn or a bell and I prefer the horn. If you're doing street riding especially, you need something where cars can hear you. 
because they're not going to hear you ding a little bell you know you need it'd be nice i guess to have both because if you're on a, a a walk uh, pedestrian uh, shared path with uh, bikes then you i'd prefer the bell because i don't want to startle people with a loud horn so the other thing too about that bike i'm trying to go over what that bike has compared to this bike i like the seat better on that one it's longer uh this one's uh, for two riders just like that one is but that one is not doesn't have the rise halfway uh like half the seat split to and then it rises up an inch or, or more than an inch and um it's going to be smooth all the way across straight across the same and that's great because if you're a taller rider you can just sit back farther if you're a shorter rider you can sit up closer to the handlebars so i like that feature as well but that's the uh graffiti x and why i chose it and the price was right um i mean if you get on in on these sales but even if you don't even if i even though that bike wasn't on sale it's still worth the 39.99 when you think about it go shopping out there and see what else you're going to get that has good components um on the bike um and compare them and you'll see that this one is right there this first of all there's not a lot of 60 volt bikes out there but if you like the style of bike and like I say, you'd be hard pressed to uh, to find one um, that's any better of a deal. So I do have a link in the descriptions if you want to check it out. If you want to comment on this video, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And once again, if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one. And until then, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.